Hello everyone. I just uh, wanted to make this quick video, hopefully it's quick, um, about Easter. Easter's coming soon and I uh, just wanted to speak about um, the reason for, the true historical reason for why there, uh, there's some of the symbols thrown around in Easter is the Easter Bunny and the uh, Easter eggs. And where did that come from? What's that got to do with Easter? Because Easter's meant to actually be the time of uh, celebrating the salvation that Jesus gave us undeservingly and the symbol is the cross that he came to die on a cross for us to be whipped to be uh, tortured um, the innocent one who was born here without sin on earth to take the place and pay the penalty for us who have sinned and it wasn't just to forgive our sins but to wash us cleanse us from our sins so spiritually cleanse us so we can be able to have a sinless gown spiritually to be able to go to heaven and to give us a new life um, and one more thing to restore our identity that we lost from the time of Adam and Eve when their souls became corrupted because of the sin that they did every child that they had after that also was born in corruption to do in their soul um, and lost the nature of love just pure love I'm talking about um, without being tainted and now love has become more what can you do about for me can you make me happy take care of me it's become more about self-seeking and selfishness when love was meant to be about uh, that doesn't seek its own. It doesn't seek to what it can take from someone, but what it can give and be a blessing instead of what it can get. The symbols then, when did they come from? Then why is the symbols more than just the cross? Um, and we have the bunny rabbit and the eggs. Well, these were practices from paganism. People that believed in other deities, other demons, other gods. And did different practices and the reason why they would color an egg was because they used to worship uh, the god Ishtar, goddess Ishtar. Um, and these practices don't, don't just come from her worship but in other places using other names of uh, similar gods to do with sex and fertility um, because different nations had similar practices because this, the reason why it was similar even though they had nothing to do with each other was because they the same devil same Satan and his demons were influencing the different nations and giving them these kind of belief systems in their mindsets. Um, so where did the, the, the reason why the, the painting of eggs started happening was because initially they would sacrifice babies on the day of celebrating Easter, which was Easter, her name was. That's where we get the English name Easter, where it should be Pascha. Um, that's where the word Passover comes from. That's why in Greek it's also called Pascha. But yet he had this name called Easter, which doesn't make sense. It's because it was uh, a renaming of the name Ishta or Estora uh, or Estore. It's different ways of pronouncing it, different ways of spelling it. Um, and that's where actually the name comes from. But they used to, like I said, sacrifice babies on that day because one of her symbols was the egg and the other one was the bunny, the rabbit, or the, or the hare they would call it and um, because it was her symbols they would grab the baby's blood after they sacrificed it to her in her temple um, and put and paint the eggs with the blood of the babies that's why there was red eggs um, uh, and in the orthodox church you would see in the catholic church you would see the main color is the red egg and they would say other stories of why they paint eggs and it's not true none of the stories are true they just basically christianized the pagan rituals after Constantine supposedly became a Christian and his the Emperor Constantine and his mother Eleni Helen she he started taking the rituals of the places that he's conquered and started saying no you're gonna worship Jesus just change it up so if the, what, what we still do the the traditions of doing the things like painting the eggs and all that kind of stuff and having the bunny rabbits but we'll say it's for this reason and for other reasons so the priest started coming up with uh, lies and fake stories for why um, the, we have eggs, Easter eggs, as we say, uh, or the bunny rabbit. And that's why, um, remember, she was a goddess of sex, uh, sexual immorality, um, and the old rape. And, uh, you know, they will take fathers who have sex with their daughters, and it was crazy stuff. Other people would take other people's wives and rape them. And it was crazy times that will happen, things will happen at that time. And that's why the, the symbol of Playboy, as you can see, and as you guys already know, the sim what's the symbol of Playboy? The actual pornography magazine, uh, the pornography uh, organization, porn organization uh, to do with sex 
uh, and immorality and sexual immorality and uh, vulgarism to do with what they're doing for years. What's the symbol? The rabbit, the bunny rabbit. And so girls are still putting it on their phones and phone covers and the seats and on their cars. You know, you see it all over the place on their t-shirts like it's something to boast about when it was to do with prostitutes and being vulgar and sexually immoral. <clears throat> so, and the Satan's laughing at us while we use his symbols thinking that, uh, you know, uh, it's cool or whatever, but he's laughing because you're literally holding up his symbols where he's messed with humanity and does these evil things. Um, but that's where it comes from. Uh, it actually comes from paganism. Here's some uh, um, photos, images for you to see um, of the different, like this is the statue of um, uh, Ishtar and she's with the rabbit because that was one of the symbols. Um, here you see his Mithra and he's coming out of an egg, breaking out of an egg. That's why on top of his head, he's got the, you know, the other part of the egg when it cracked or hatched. Um, as well, again, another pagan belief system, which was pre-Christ. Here is just an emblem. Again, you see the, how there's the, the pentagram, which is the satanic symbol for witchcraft. Plus there's two little rabbits hanging off them because it's also used in witchcraft. Because it goes back to Ishtar and some other gods that use the rabbits or demons, really. Pagan gods that use um, the rabbits as a symbol. This is a painting of Ishtar and she's wearing a rabbit uh, face mask. And uh, she's got eggs. But here is uh, an altar in a, in a, that was set up for um, Ishtar. And again, you see the pentagram because it's to do with demonic satan satanism, really. Um, it's got the, the bunny rabbit there as well, because again, it's to do with for her and the little statue for representing her as an image. Um, again, here there's an emblem they would wear around the neck. Still, some people wear this stuff. Again, the pentagram, the ra rabbits again. You see the rabbits again there. You see this statue again that was done again representing Ishta, and there's the rabbit where her foot is. Um, this painting again to do with Ishtar and the rabbit. That's why in the Orthodox Church as well, there's the they have the fire to represent burning Judas for betraying Jesus, but it's a lie. Again, the Orthodox Church just took it through the years. Uh, it was in a pagan ritual where they used to do, was the time of worshiping the sun god, Ra or Tammuz, it depends where you were from, what nation. And they would, uh, outside the temple of Tammuz or Ra, they would have, they would light up a big uh, bonfire and to represent the element of the sun, which is fire. Um, and that's why there was fire and they used to go around the church. That's what they do in the Orthodox Church till this day. They walk around the church and they have that fire. And at 12 o'clock, the bell would ring in the Tammuz temples. And that's what would happen as well in the Orthodox Church. So a lot of these things were taken as uh, uh, from this paganism and rituals from them. Nothing changed. Um, yeah, so this is where it actually all comes from, guys. And I wanted to make this quick video to tell you this is what's actually going on. And you, it's good for you to know because so, slowly, slowly, you know, you can say, oh, so what? It's not a big deal. But that's how I believe Satan wants us to become through the years. Ah, so what? What's the big deal? Let's come on. That's a bit extreme, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, Satan loves to uh, to belittle the reason for Jesus, to, to belittle his the memory. In fact, the Jews had these feasts that they would do, different types of feasts that they would do every year. And every feast was to rem remember something to do with them so they don't forget. So feasts were put in place to remember things so they don't forget from generation to generation. So the story can be told, retold and retold so people would know from generation to generation. And Satan's been trying to remove this through the years from for Easter and Christmas. Uh, of the reason for Christmas doesn't matter about the date and blah 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 just think about how much they're trying to remove any imagery to do with the reason for Christmas and they make it more about Santa Claus and reindeers and all that um, and Christmas trees instead of the real reason for why we celebrate Christmas and the same thing with Easter more and more you walk around to different shops to the streets and everything instead of decorations you use uh, instead of seeing any decorations or anything to remind us of what, or remind the world of why we celebrate this time uh, to thank Jesus for what he done for us. There's hardly anything about Jesus. And it's, oh, everything says Happy Easter, 
it will have Easter eggs there or bunnies and things like this. So you've seen this. So what I would encourage you to do, and the reason for this video is to uh, awareness, to know what's actually the reasons for these bunny and their eggs, what's the history behind it, go investigate, uh, but also, and then do whatever you decide to do with that between you and God as a Christian, pray and, uh, you know, see how you should respond with these kind of things now that you know, um, but also to make an effort to uh, emphasize the reason for the season to your family, to your friends, in your house. Don't just have around all you know, these bunny rabbits and chocolate eggs and things like this and do Easter egg hunts. Try to, sh you know, if friends are coming and family time is coming together for Easter, make it for why it's really the time that we're celebrating this time. Make a, put a reminder, have something going on that shows the reason. Don't just let them slowly veer it away, you know, take it away. And uh, it's going to happen from generation to generation. If you don't do anything and you're like, ah, what's the big deal? Then it's going to happen to your children's children's children, maybe, you know, a few years down to the track because it's happened. It's gone so far since 2000 years ago, uh, how much is fading away. You know, that's the plan of Satan. So anyway, the point was for just to create awareness to get you to know what's going on and what happened and what's actually the symbols come from. And uh, yeah. So think about how God spoke back in those days when they would touch this stuff that belonged to idols. He says, don't learn the way of the heathen. Don't do those things that they do. Um, yeah, so again, I don't know how far you should take that. Just wanted you to know. And uh, then you can pray and uh, really be honorable to God in what He tells you. Don't pray with, with a biased. Pray willing to obey whatever God is saying after you pray about this and really be honest that you want to put it on the table and let him uh, lead you into how you should respond and what you should do any from this day onwards to do with Easter if you should be having that kind of stuff and doing that kind of things that you've been doing let's say whatever you've been doing if you know if you have been doing different uh, you know ways of celebrating Easter and that was participating in some of the things that belong to the paganism it's up to you, you know, you, you pray and you be honest with yourself and with God. And because at the end, we're going to give an account to God ourselves personally. So, yeah. All right. Blessings, guys, and um, happy Easter. <laughs> Calon Pasca. Uh, yeah, I don't even like happy saying happy Easter because it's her name, that demon. Uh, but yeah, Calon Pasca. Um, take care. See you later.